Hey there! If you've clicked this video, then you're probably looking for 5 free tools to improve your Hearthstone play and help you climb the ladder. Which is good, because that's what this video is about, so let's get on with it. Also, I'm really bad at intros. Number 1. Hearthstone Deck Tracker or Arcane Tracker Deck trackers for Hearthstone are already incredibly popular, with just about every streamer utilising them not only to improve their gameplay, but also as a great tool to display their decks to their viewers. Not only does it avoid the constant asking for deck lists, but it's also handy for when chat keeps spamming Dig for Blizzard when you know for a fact you've already played both of them. And it's for exactly those scenarios that a deck tracker can be useful for all of us. Even if you consider yourself pretty good at remembering what cards you've played, the visual reminder of a deck tracker can always help you to identify your outs and play towards them, eking out a few extra percentage points that may otherwise have been impossible to get. Deck trackers are not just for tracking decks either, as contradictory as that must seem. Hearthstone Deck Tracker or HDT has a massive range of completely customizable options, allowing you to track just about every piece of information the game can give you. From hand tracking to fatigue counters to an automatically updating list that shows what secrets your opponents could be playing. There's even plugins that you can use to help predict your opponent's deck and track theirs alongside your own, giving you even more information on what to play around. As previously mentioned, Hearthstone Deck Tracker is almost definitely the best choice on PC. It's also available for Mac but has less functionality. As for Android, there's Arcane Tracker, which I haven't tested myself, so I can't personally vouch for it, but I've read good things. And iOS players, sorry friends, but due to the way that iOS reads game files, there's currently no confirmed working Deck Tracker apps, and anything that tells you otherwise is probably a scam. Looks like it is pen and paper for you. Number 2. YouTube or Twitch these two platforms are similar in that they both offer great Hearthstone video content if you know where to look, but they differ massively in the style of that content. While you can find both live streams and recorded VODs on YouTube, the biggest advantage of it is its potential for clear, concise and considered content. Video guides, deck showcases, gameplay tips and so much more are available if you know what you're looking for. Just started playing a new deck and you're wondering how to get the most out of it? Look up some guides and gameplay videos from the pros of that deck specifically. Want to make sure you've got the basics down? Look up Hearthstone tips and tricks videos. Find content creators that you like, subscribe to them and watch their content regularly and almost through osmosis you'll find yourself becoming a better player. Now while Twitch streams do not generally have the same laser focus that a YouTube video can have, their key benefit is that they are live and interactable. In general, streamers love it when you come into their chat and ask them questions about the game. If you're looking for any kind of advice, from general to deck slash matchup specific, Twitch is a great place to get your questions answered in a very immediate fashion. Quite often, however, the chat of the biggest streamers like Crip and Harfu move way too fast for your question to get noticed, so scrolling down to some of the smaller streamers who are still consistently hitting legend can be a good way to ensure that your questions gain visibility and that the advice you're given is at least somewhat reputable. Number 3. Reddit and r slash competitive HS it amazes me that people aren't using Reddit as a resource more often. Dubbed the front page of the internet and rightly so, Reddit is a fantastic tool for many communities and Hearthstone is no exception. While the main Hearthstone subreddit is a hub for casual and experienced players alike, for the win rate oriented card slinger it's r slash competitive HS that you'll be looking for. From guides on the most popular decks, to spotlights on under the radar off meta hits, as well as excellent and thorough discussion on every aspect of the game, r slash competitive HS is a fantastic hub for anyone approaching the game with a view to win as often as possible. However, word of warning, there's no barrier to entry for the subreddit, so although everyone shares the same goal, at least for the most part, there's no telling how successful any user might necessarily be without proof of their win rate. Take opinions with a grain of salt and weigh up the validity of a comment for yourself without blindly trusting other people. I guess that's just good life advice anyway. Number 4. HSReplay.net and Vicious Syndicate I've put these two together because they're both websites that read data on Hearthstone matches and compile it in different ways. There's other sites that do this too, but these are the ones that I would trust the most and find the most useful. Let's break down what you can do on these sites and how to make them work for you. Firstly, these are great places to find meta decks to play. The lists found on these websites have been tried and tested, proven to work, with their win rates published right by them. If you're not much of a deck builder like I'm not, then this is a great place to find lists to play. Secondly, they both give a very clear picture of what's being played in the meta and which decks are the strongest through their tier lists. You can use this information not only to find decks to play, but also to figure out what decks you need to beat in order to succeed. 
Both of these websites also have some great articles that you can learn from. Many of HS Replay's articles are quote unquote meta pulses, which break down and analyze the meta as it stands, though other articles do exist. In the case of Vicious Syndicate, all of their analysis is contained in their Data Reaper reports, which provide all of the data they've gathered, organize it in tables and charts for your own parsing, and also provide a class by class commentary on what they've found. One really useful statistic HS Replay provides is mulligan, win rates, and keep rates. When you're first learning a deck, it can be really tricky to figure out what cards you're looking for in your mulligan. Sure, you're going to keep Kalaseth every time, but how does Flame Imp compare to Voidwalker? Along similar lines, just picked up a new deck, or you're looking for a new one and the list by itself isn't completely selling you? Well, hop over to the Streams tab and check out people playing that very same deck live right now. See their win rate and play style, ask them any questions you might have. It's a great way to get incredibly specific advice to help you improve. Now, all these features are completely free to use, but for those who like to speculate to accumulate, they also offer paid features that may help even more. I can't personally vouch for either, but HS Replay Premium offers to track your own stats, show matchup dependent information, although you can get some of this for free from Vicious Syndicate, excluding matchup specific mulligan information, and more advanced meta filters specific to location and rank. Vicious Syndicate Gold, on the other hand, provides access to Data Reaper Live, a tool that updates in real time, showing you trends and patterns as they emerge, as well as removing ads from the site. Number 5, Hearth Arena. Now last but not least is one exclusively for you arena players out there. Personally, although I used to love the arena back in Classic, I'm way more interested in ranked play these days, so when it comes to arena, my abilities are somewhat lacking. But never to fear, because why be good at something when you can get a program to help you? Hearth Arena is a fantastic tool that helps you to build your arena deck but leaves the paddling up to you. Using pretty sophisticated power rankings that take into account variables such as synergies with cards you've already picked, curve and the overall archetype of your draft deck, Hearth Arena will help you to build just about the best deck possible out of the choices you're given. Hearth Arena comes as a handy standalone app that automatically evaluates your arena choices and advises you on which cards to pick, with no more effort required than simply opening a program. It also has a browser based version which requires you to type in each card you're being offered individually and then tell the website which card you picked. It's a lot slower but lets you still benefit from the program if you're on mobile or can't install the app for some reason. This is one almost guaranteed way to improve your arena gameplay, which can help your general gameplay and deck building skills, as well as helping to grow your collection, especially if you're a free to play player. Now that's everything for this list, thank you very much for watching, but please do let me know if there are any other tools or websites that you use to improve your Hearthstone experience because I would love to hear about them. I hope that this video has helped you in some way, and if it has then please consider liking, subscribing or sharing it with your friends, and of course, have a great day.